Hey, what's up, guys? I know it's been a while, but we got a Wi-Fi battle against Blizz Yoko. Link to the channel down below. Um, so let's just get into it. Um, so I sped this up a lot. Uh, it was really back and forth battle. Um, he started up early. Uh, really great uh, lead for him. Forced me to switch. Um, he sets up Dragon Dance, which is really scary. I uh, can't really do too much to this. I have my physical wall out here and just getting bodied by these uh, ice punches. So I set up a leech seed first, uh, you know, first thing, uh, and I predict him to go for another dragon dance. So I go for a drain punch, trying to get some health back, and it does like half. These things are way too bulky. Uh, get up, and I should have, I should have gone for a uh, spiky shield here, but I didn't. I thought I would be able to live one more and then go kill him off with the seed bomb, but I didn't, and I died to a crit. Not sure if it mattered. Then I'm like, oh, I'm scarfed. I may be able to outspeed. Nope, and I go down. So. Then I'm like, alright, I have nothing else to hit this thing with. I'm gonna have to go for Shadow Sneak. And so it does about half. He goes for Crunch. I'm like, shit, I'm dead. But I actually live on 31. And after some Leech Seed, uh, I'm sitting okay because another Shadow Sneak will take him out uh, after getting that damage off. So that's good. I got rid of that one threat that was really uh, messing me up there. Now, uh, Arcanine comes out with the Intimidate. And I really can't do anything to. Uh, Arcanine, so I switch out into my uh, dragon type dark relic, the Hydreigon, to eat up a uh, flare blitz that'll um, uh, take it okay. So uh, I noticed that he's life orb, so he's gonna take recoil damage and that. So now he's gonna switch out to his Luna, um, and he's gonna just eat the shit out of this Draco. Um, and after the, you know, the special attack drops, it's not gonna do anything. So I'm gonna switch out to my Tentamon here. I didn't know if he was gonna try to poison me. Uh, or anything like that, so I just switched into him, and uh, so I just go for Sludge Wave, maybe I'll get a poison, I, I really don't know, really don't know what I was doing in there, I mean, I can't do much to him, he can't, he can, he can hit me with stuff, but I can't really hit him with anything, so I'm gonna switch into my, my bay, and now we got two Umbreon sitting on the field, and he's gonna switch out into his fortress, I'm gonna go for a wish, he's gonna set up some stealth rocks, uh, it's, it's, Really crazy battle, really crazy. So I'm gonna switch back out with my Tentamon because I do have Rapid Spin on here. Uh, he's gonna go for a Gyro Ball, and I'm gonna get that Wish, gonna get all my health back. I'm gonna go for a Scald. Um, he he's gonna go for a Volt Switch, and it doesn't do too much to me. I am Assault Fested. Uh, then he switched out his uh, his Ampharos here, and I don't want to take a Thunderbolt. I do not want to take a Thunderbolt, no matter what. And now he's gonna go for, uh, I think he's gonna go for the Thunderbolt. And while I switch into my uh, my Bay, my special, uh, especially defensive Pokemon. And uh, I mean, I eat, I eat it up pretty well. Then I see he has the Focus Blast because I uh, scouted out for it, Protect. And I'm just gonna go for a Toxic here because uh, maybe he would think I'm gonna switch out. And he goes for another Thunderbolt. So it does it does good amount of damage. I mean, I'm able to live another one. So it's like I know. I feel like he would go for the for the Thunderbolt again because you know I'm not he sees that I'm not gonna like switch out so I actually do switch out and I go into my uh, uh, my uh, Hydreigon and so I go for another Draco here I was trying to hit the Ampharos maybe it wanted to stay in but it doesn't and uh, again this thing is just gonna really eat up Dracos he's just that's just his Draco eater for the entire entire battle. Man, this thing was so, it's just so bulky. Uh, Umbreon is like, probably one of my favorite Pokemon design-wise, but I hate what it does competitively. It's like, I wanted to use it so bad though, so I did use it. And now I switch out into my Tentamon, just because I really, I really have n nothing here, and I gotta get rid of these rocks. I, I, I don't think I actually get rid of them on this turn. Unless he's... He, I might actually try getting rid of him. So yeah, I do get rid of him on this turn because I can't keep switching back and forth, taking all this stealth rocks damage. If I had rocks on his side of the field, I would have been in a much better position. Um, because I, I do end up getting on, uh, get rid of his, getting rid of his fortress later on. Uh, so he put me to sleep. I stood in there to get rid of one turn of sleep. Uh, now I'm gonna go out to my Umbreon, my bay. And I'm gonna take a Giga Drain. It's like, oh, uh, not doing. It's doing a lot of damage to me. Um, and the the way I, I live, I live on six, and I'm able to get a Wish off. So I know I'm gonna be able to live uh, another one. So 
after the wish. So he, he does predict the protect and he goes for toxic spikes. It doesn't really matter too much. It really doesn't. Um, and I get up another wish. I'm really just my Umbreon is really here just to help out my team. He's just like passing off wishes like like there's no tomorrow. Like see this? See this see this wish pass? Perfect. Now this is this is like the best point of the game, like uh, on my side. Uh, because I'm actually able to go for sword stance here. Uh, he goes for another Giga Drain. Uh, I live it. I can go for another Giga Drain. Uh, I mean, I can go for another sword stance, and he can go for another Giga Drain. And now, now I'm at 32 health, and now I'm at plus six. Now he has no uh, priority on really on his side, so I'm just going. So I went for a Shadow Sneak. Now he he comes into Arcanine to get this. Uh, Intimidate off, and I feel like he was just gonna switch out anyway. Uh, but I needed to, you know, there was a chance I could have killed with uh, with Shadow Sneak. But after he switched out into Fortress, like there was really nothing that he could do. I mean, that was kind of him winning. So I didn't want to take a uh, a foul play at all. So I switched out, even though I was at plus six. I didn't have Sacred Sword. Um, I had Iron Head, but I'm pretty sure this thing would have been able to outspeed me. So I switched out into my uh, Tetsumon and. Uh, he's going to kill me there with uh, the foul play. So I'm going to go to my own bay, and this is really where just the match gets pretty uh, stally. He knows I don't have heal bell, uh, so he just goes for the toxic, and he gets some synchronized and going back and forth. That was really funny. Just, it was like synchronized, synch synchronized both sides. It was, it was pretty cool. So it just becomes really stally where I have to, uh, you know, Pass off, pass off wishes, and then he's gonna go for heal bell, and it's it, it just really goes back and forth. Uh, it's not really the most uh, entertaining uh, of anything, but it it's it was really crazy, like just just supporting my whole team with Umbreon, and then it just ew, oh my god, I couldn't even like stand it. So I'm getting hurt by uh. Toxic. I don't have Heal Bell, but well, he does, so it's like he can kind of uh, win this one. Even though it's like Protect would seem more stally, uh, Umbreon with Heal Bell just doesn't die. It just never does, because you can heal yourself, and then you could, uh, you know, with Wish, and then you could get rid of any statuses with Heal Bell, so it's like you just don't die. Like when you're that bulky, you just don't die. And so. We're getting leftovers, we're taking toxic damage, we're, we're not looking too pretty, I gotta get out of there. So I'm gonna go out into my uh, Dewblade here, and I get my, uh, I do get a Wish um, passed off to me, but, the, you know, now I know he's gonna go for a foul play, so I do switch out into my uh, my Dark Relic, because it's gonna be resisted. And I wanted to go for a Flamethrower, because I didn't know, I just to see how much it would do, because I know Draco would, uh, it would do probably around 50%, and then I would get my attack, uh, my special attack drops and it wouldn't do anything anymore. So uh, I just went for the flamethrower just to see how much it does, and I see that it does absolutely nothing. So I can't stay in there. And at this point, I really know that the battle is is lost. Uh, there really was no hope for me. But it, it, it in all in all, it was a pretty great battle. So I'm gonna go for another wish here. I'm really just trying because I'm like, you know, if I can get some kind of flinches with Dark Pulse, if I can get a crit with Draco. Uh, this game would turn around so much, but you know, I'm actually kind of happy it didn't have any kind of uh, crazy hacks in it because it, it, it was it was really fair. It, this battle was extremely fair, except for that really that first turn uh, crit that probably mattered on my chestnut because I probably would have lived in the red because I had, and then I had a seed bomb coming his way. So other than that, I think that was really uh, really good. You know, I, I I don't really know if Draco here was the right play. I, I really don't. I mean it. I don't think a Dark Pulse would have killed. And but he, either or, I was ch choice spec, so it didn't really matter anyway. So then he's gonna go for the uh, foul play, predicting my uh, my Dew Blade coming in here. I guess he might have predicted it, or he was just trying to go for damage. And uh, two foul plays definitely gonna take me out. Um, and at this point, I I don't have anything left for him so I'm just gonna go for flinches really just just for funsies I knew I know I couldn't do anything to him so I'm just trying to see how many flinches I can get in a row and I do get two flinches in a row which is kind of hilarious um, so I go for the third one here 
and it brings him down to almost half, but he doesn't flinch, and he gets the toxic off, and now at that point, I was just like, oh, well, it was a pretty fun match, and then I was just going to really end it off there, so I forfeited it, and um, all in all, it was a great match. You guys go check him out. Um, again, really great match. Um, I'm going to get out of here. See you guys later. Bye!